Okay. Suzuka, not far from the Japanese city of Nagoya in the south of Japan. As we see Manetti getting out of line a bit there. Fisichella, Manetti, Lucci coming up now at the end of the third of the rolling laps, the formation laps. Onto the start, finish straight, looking for the lights to go green. They pass either side of the cones. It's a clean start, and straight away Fisichella goes into the lead from Manetti. Or does he? No, Fisichella loses out because he's on the wrong side of the circuit, I think. It's Manetti. And then in the number three cart there, it is going wide. Fisichella tries to take it back, but he, no, he can't do it. So it is Jano Trulli from Manetti, from Fisichella. Michael Simpson starting from 16th place. The young British driver who, from Leeds, the man who absolutely starred at Bergam in Holland in the final of the European Championship, taking two second places. Just 17 years old, as we see there. Manetti make a big mistake, so it's truly from Fisichella. He made exactly the same mistake that was made in the first race by Gianni Berti. So, number three at the moment, Manetti leading from Fisichella. That's number 10, pulling off there. It's a problem there for Toyuki Otake of Japan. First retirement at the end of the first lap. So a confused start at the moment because we thought that was Minetti going off. It must have been Trulli. He got back onto the track all right. Very fast through these S's in these Formula Super A carts. 28 horsepower. That is a lot of power in these little tiny carts. We're talking about just 140 kilograms, including the driver racing on six inch tires. There is our race leader then at the moment. That is. Manetti, Manetti leading from Fisichella. Oh, and out goes Rossi. That was Danilo Rossi. He spun out at the end of lap two, the 1992 winner. His World Cup is over. He's out of the race. Tries to get it restarted, but he has no joy and retires. So this man at the moment, that is Manetti, Rossi out, Manetti leads from Fisichella. From Gianluca Beggio in the number 19 cart there. Michael Simpson moving up to 11th place at the moment. A charge from the back of the field. From the 17-year-old from Leeds, one of Britain's brightest stars. So here is this battle up front, continuing between Manetti and Fisichella. And still in third place behind them, Beggio. And it's that close now, Fisichella can see an opportunity, I think, to get past. Trying everything he can. These two pulling away from the rest of the field now. It's a great battle for the lead here of the Formula Shell World Cup in Japan. And Fisichella just absolutely pushing that heart as far, hard and far as he can without actually ramming the guy in front of him. Manetti, Fisichella. And Beggio. But no Beggio now, supplanted by Trulli, and behind him in the number two cart, 
Gianni Berti coming up very fast indeed. Remember we saw Gianni Berti going out in that first race, losing a lot of time, unable to finish any higher than seventh. He's coming up through the field very fast now. It's all eyes on these two at the moment. Gianni Berti through now. Into third place, ahead of Jano Trulli and ahead of Antonelli and Bellici and all the rest. So this guy, Gianni Berti, on a real charge. Driving an absolutely brilliant race. Coming through from seventh place, just waiting his time, protecting his tires. Seventeen years old from Piacenza. And he goes through, Fisichella goes through to take the lead from Manetti. There's nothing that Alessandro Manetti could do to resist that charge. This is lap seven of 24 laps. And then behind them in the number two car, it is Nicola Gianniberti, then Jano Trulli, then Pietro Antonelli. All Italian, you notice at the moment. Top five Italians with Satoshi Motoyama of Japan at the moment, hovering around sixth place, just trying to get a look in. Fisichella again. At the time of this race, he already had two Italian Formula 3 championship rounds. To his credit, wins in those. As has Daniele Rossi. And this is just a fortnight after the Monaco Grand Prix supporting Formula 3 race in which he finished second. So Fisichella, Manetti, Michael Simpson in 11th place at this time, fighting over 11th. With Massimiliano Orsini of Italy. There's Nicola Gianniberti now up with the two leaders. This is getting very close and Manetti goes through again, takes the lead back. There's Michael Simpson, he is out. What rotten luck, he was in 12th place. Since then we've heard that Michael, who'll be racing at the World Championship Finals at the Val, has been to see Paul Stewart racing at Milton Keynes to discuss his future Formula racing plans. So that's very good news. We're seeing a lot of these young British cartists suddenly being elevated. James Matthews winning at Zandvoort in the European Formula Renault race just a couple of weeks ago. And now we're seeing Michael Simpson out of luck here, but hopefully will do well at Laval as this incredible lead battle goes on. Manetti from Fisichella, from Gianni Berti, and Jano Trulli still right there with them. Manetti having his work cut out now to keep ahead of this bunch. Twenty-one years old from Rome. That's Fisichella, more experienced. He's twenty-one years old, also from Rome, but he has been three times. Second in the Italian Championship, and again he goes through. Fisichella takes the lead back yet again. But no, Manetti responds, and he goes through. Not only does he go through, but also through goes Nicola Gianniberti. So it's now Manetti, Gianniberti, Fisichella. Doesn't matter which one's leading at the moment, because all five are Italians. Jano truly there in the number 11 cart. Take your pick of the Italians. This is great racing here in Suzuka. The four of them now covered by the proverbial pocket handkerchief. And in fifth place at the moment, we believe it's Andrea Bellici and Pietro Antonelli fighting. And through goes Gianni Berti. 
into the lead of the race. This is lap 12. Gianni Berti takes the lead. Minetti tries to take it back again, but he cannot do it. And I think Gianni Berti, who's been waiting his time, has made the most of that. His tyres obviously in better shape at the moment. Fisichella third, Jano Trulli fourth. This is classic motor racing and classic kart racing, World Cup style. The Japanese absolutely enthralled by this, although it must be said they would much prefer a Japanese to be in this lead bunch. It's not to be at the moment, though. Motoyama running in the seventh place, looking to improve on that. There's the positions after 12 laps. Gianni Berti, Manetti, Fisichella, Trulli, Antonelli and Bellucci. And all Italian top six at half distance, 24 laps this race. At these racing speeds, that should take them something in the region of 21, 22 minutes. But as you saw earlier, we have lost Michael Simpson, we've lost Danilo Rossi. Gianni Berti from Manetti, from Fisichella, from Trulli. These four still just all together here in Japan, the other side of the world, from their usual race circuits. And it's a little damp again. Big wet patch across the start-finish straight. So these guys having to pick their way carefully on these lines. You can't use every single line you might in the dry. And a fine view of the Suzuka circuit there. An incredible facility in this bowl alongside the Grand Prix track. Okay, for the moment, Manetti back out in front of Gianni Berti. But for how long? That's for how long he is off. Manetti goes out. This is lap 13. Unlucky for some. And Manetti will take time picking himself up. And the cart will not restart. It is full of mud and stones in the carburetor. And he is out for the day. Seven laps to go now. As we look at the situation up front where Nicola Gianniberti is leading from Trulli because Iano Trulli has just taken second place away from Giancarlo Fisichella. The Italian 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at the moment with Satoshi Motoyama moving up into sixth place for Japan. But I don't think at this moment it's going to be a Japanese on the podium. Gianniberti, Trulli, Fisichella. A little change to the order now. These three getting down to the job of getting on the podium. This is a very prestigious event every year. It's an event which CIK FIA President Ernest Busa organizes in conjunction with Japan and with Shell. It's a very good experience builder for these young drivers taking them to Japan to race against the best in Asia. At the moment, it has to be said, they have repaid the president handsomely, proving at the moment that Italians, certainly in Formula Super A, are the world's best. European Championships having just finished in Bergen, Holland, a few weeks ago, as we told you, where Michael Simpson had a double second place. But the champion at the end of all that was Nicola Gianniberti. And here he is now, leading in Japan from Fisichella and Trulli, who are swapping places every lap now. And just look how Trulli outbreaks Fisichella into that first corner. Very wide circuit here, probably the widest karting circuit in the European and World Championship calendar. Gianni Berti going away a little now. He has something like a two-second lead as we go into these last few laps. So it's Haas Rotax from PCR. And Tony Rotax, well, of course, Trulli's on the Tony car, and he is second at the moment, so PCR pushed back again into third place. 